Welcome back to the 17 Kitchen. I have Mama Rusk here. She was just laughing because she saw Mama Rusk as her name banner. But that's how everybody in town knows her. Now, we wanted to share how we do Thanksgiving. So we're now a week out. We were just talking yes. about how inflation is hitting everybody yes. hard. Sometimes we shop at Williams Sonoma and we get the fancy stuff. We also just ran to Walmart yesterday. We do a lot from Trader Joe's, just wherever you can pinch some pennies. But I wanted to share how we do our Thanksgiving because it all started when I moved here back in 08. Yes. How did you come up with this? Well, your kitchen was nine square feet, <laughs> and there was this much counter space, yeah. and the kitchen, the oven was this big, and we had to make Thanksgiving. So we didn't buy a turkey, we bought parts. Yep. Yeah, we had a turkey breast we, and a turkey uh, leg. I thought, well, you know, this is basically a cooking invention thing, Yeah. and so I had a stroke of brilliance, and we had a crock pot in your bedroom, and we yep. had a crock pot on the <laughs> counter out in the balcony. Yes. And, <laughs> We, it worked. It worked great. And, and it's, I was, it's know, the great way to avoid the last minute rush. It is indeed. And especially as the hostess, right? You're fussing over the turkey in the oven. Then you got to get the pie in the oven. You probably have rolls in there. And you also want to make a great big salad. So these are all of the warm sides that my mom and I just do in the morning. And we set them aside and forget them. And then you actually get to enjoy your guests. Absolutely. Instead of working all day. So what do you want to start with? Uh, let's start with sauteing the veggies. Sauteing the veggies. So. I don't know how to work this. It keeps turning off. But basically well, you're going to well. get your warm warm skillet going. So we just and butter and butter real butter, everything. margarine, coconut oil. You do you, boo. I'm a big <laughs> fan of that. Um, we do butter on Thanksgiving yes. because it's the, you know, that day. Here and my kids now feel that uh, Thanksgiving isn't complete without the Thanksgiving parade yes. and the smell of real butter and onions and celery. celery and now we use the convenient carrots as well because why not get some veggies in your get kids. Get some mirepoix. It's great to get this in the kids. So, and then I like the fancy mushrooms. My husband yes. picks them out. <laughs> so we always get well, the big mushrooms. We get the big mushrooms and we're going to actually divide this today. So we're going to put half in. Okay. And then you just kind of drink some coffee and zhush that around. <laughs> I have a zhusher here. Zhusher. And it always makes the house smell Smells like Thanksgiving. So good. And yes. you put some fresh herbs in here too. You can, I of do. course, do jarred herbs, but what do you, you pick? You can do dried herbs. You can do jarred herbs. I actually have an herb garden, mm -hmm. but we bought these last night. You can also buy these. Uh, places like Trader Joe's actually have a mix. Yeah. Whatever. Um, but I have, uh, uh, they didn't have parsley. Otherwise, I do parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Yeah. Uh, which is just, if you smell them, they just smell like Thanksgiving. It does. So. And one of my other favorite tips from my mom, I always wanted to be like people on the cooking shows mm -hmm. where they're dicing and I would lose a finger. Yes. Glammy uses kitchen shears and I just do. chops her fresh. And look how fast and easy that is. It's it is not very the messy. The stem's done and you throw it away. So yes. I love the way you do herbs with scissors. Everything's fresh and this really makes a box stuffing feel fancy. It does. It does indeed. So we're going to throw the stuffing in here. Okay. Dry. Dry um, right it's, in. it's basically stale bread, so uh, you can Make dry own, bread. You can buy a lot of people save the heels of their bread mm -hmm. and toast them up. Um, we actually saw in Walmart they had toasted bread last they night. Did, yeah. Um, <clears throat> this is a box. Whatever you do, um, but then we just and I do it by eye, kind of. And you just zhush in some wonderful chicken juice. And that'll help it cook. Help it and cook. It does get toasty, just like in the yes. oven, because this is a mini oven. So yes. if you have an air fryer, you could toast the top at the end. You could put it in a baking dish and pop it pop in the it oven. Pop it in too. the oven under a just broiler like if you that. want. Or the edges really get crunchy, which is your favorite part. <laughs> it's good. So then once this is all sauteed, that's going to go throw in. that in. Set it. It's yep, done. Absolutely. And then nice. for us, mm -hmm. we uh, making gravy at the last minute is always the stressful. You yeah. can roast turkey pieces ahead of time and make mm -hmm. your gravy and then just throw it. We let, went we easy did and jarred, easy. jarred gravy this time. So we're going to throw gravy yep. in the crock pot first thing in the morning. Put it on warm. Let it simmer. Throw in a pat of butter. Yep. And you can also add your turkey drippings yes. in this when it comes out when of the, the oven. Turkey it comes gives out. it that flavor um, and, and some fresh cracked pepper. Absolutely. And if you ha are deep fat frying your bird, you're not going to have those True. drippings. So you can roast some pieces ahead of time mm -hmm. and save them. Or just do jerk gravy. They or do a lot of product gravy. development to make this stuff that's good. Right. So there are indeed departments that are far right. beyond my kitchen knowledge. <laughs> so that's done. And that's then done and that's thing on with warm. potatoes. Same thing with the potatoes. You can buy potatoes and mash your own potatoes. Mm -hmm. We've done that, especially if you're trying to save some money yeah. and cut your costs. 
Um, for this segment, we just went ahead and bought mashed potatoes. We're going to pop those in the crock pot, put those on low. Now, the turkey, the gravy is on low, yeah. and it'll just sit there all day. Low or warm. If it warm. starts to get a little warm, if it starts to get a little uh, thick, you can throw in a little broth, you can throw mm -hmm. in a little wine, whatever you want. So then the potatoes are over there on warm, mm -hmm. and little we bit pop of butter. some butter, and we throw in some heavy, heavy cream, cream that keeps them from drying out. and. What's not to love about butter and <laughs> This is cream. not a diet not conscious a diet. Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thanksgiving is not known about diet. You can use fat-free broths and all those yes. other things. We don't have it here, but you can also do uh, same same arrangement with sweet potatoes. You can yes. put them in whole, yes. put your candy stuff on top, mash them up, put everything on top, put them on warm, and go. So then, uh, probably this is my the favorite. biggest... This, this is my, I, I'm not a fan of green bean casserole. <laughs> I will say... My children didn't know this until about two years ago, and they were shocked. You've always made it for I've us, and your recipe is my favorite. So this is what so, I really wanted to show everyone. So this is my recipe, and it's basically just, we kind of zhush up the recipe. This is how I cook. Yes. I zhush up the regular stuff. So we got green beans all ready to go. Um, if you have fresh green beans, that's great. I like great. the fresh. You can, you can use, use canned, of course. canned. You yeah. can use uh, the frozen, the um, how, however you want to do mm -hmm. it. And then, of course, the ubiquitous glop, glop. of mushroom. It doesn't look appetizing, but it tastes mushroom, great. <laughs> cream of mushroom. <laughs> and then the way I vary it is it, the recipe calls for half of one of these containers of French fried onions. Well, this is the best part. So I put one whole one in, yeah. and then about a half an hour before dinner, I put another whole can on top and, it and let crispy. it warm up, and it gets crispy. Mm -hmm. But as far as the, I, so we have the sour cream. Sour, the, I add sour cream because it, it gives it that body and a little bit of the tangy to counteract just kind of plain mushroom soup. And yes. then we add fresh mushrooms. We for add more fresh mushrooms. Body. I add water chestnuts. Water chestnuts adds a little crunch. Because otherwise no. it's such a soggy, soggy recipe. mushy, yep. which is the part I don't like. Yeah. So water crust chestnuts stay crunchy and they're wonderful. You can add nuts mm -hmm. if you want. Uh, one of my other secrets is I always add a good glug of soy sauce. Salt without I read being this salty. Somewhere mm -hmm. it just adds that umami flavor that all the yes, chefs yes, yes. talk about. And one of the things that I'm going to do this year that I just we discovered haven't done before. we haven't done before, but how can this be bad, right? <laughs> right. We're going to put in bacon bits because why not? <laughs> it's Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving. <laughs> and bacon and green beans just go they together. They go together. So we're going to pop those in there and you stir it around. Stir everything together. Top them. Put Done. the lids on and go have another cup of coffee and yes. sit down in your jammies and enjoy your family. And, and the whole house smells like smells Thanksgiving. This all way day. it's hot and ready and good to go. Good to go. Yeah. Yes. So we're going to share this online. This will be on KGET.com later. Wonderful. We would love to hear back from you. Let us know how you do your Thanksgiving tips and tricks to save money and save time so we can all enjoy the holiday together. We'll be right back.